what's up guys it's your boy samuel tushi and in this video i'm going to show you guys how i managed to flip um the hundred dollar account i opened was it um on monday this week so um now it's we doubled it in two days so i'm going to show you guys how i did that although we are still um going to keep um trading on the account because the aim is to flip it we don't have a fixed amount though so the aim is to flip it to any amount so and i will continue um, giving you guys updates on the accounts <laughs> Today's video, I'll just show you guys how I managed to double the account in two days with just two trades. So this was on Monday, the first trade I took on the hundred dollar account. Okay, I remember the price was at this um, point here. So I waited for it to, I wanted this price to bounce here actually before shooting down. So I said, okay, we should bounce down here, I'm um, up here, then shoot down. Once it returns to this zone here, I will sell. I will sell. So the price was um yet. Yeah. I'll put a video there so you guys could see what actually happened here. Okay, what's up guys? Um I just um made an analysis on gold. So I'm expecting gold to sell from this position down all the way to this um this psychology level here. Okay, so I entered at this point here. So I'm hoping for it to sell down to this point here. So previously my analysis was for it to hit it before we go down. So it just went hit only this point and went down. So since we missed all those parts, let's see how it plays out. I already hoping at this little little retracement here. Because if you go down to um a fifteen min five minutes time frame, you will see the retracement here. So let's see how it plays out. I'm in inside the trade, so I'll I'll show you guys the results after this. Now, why I entered this trade was, if you look closely, it's from this symmetrical triangle here. It broke to the downside, made a minor retest, like break and retest. Still broke a bigger um the same trend line from a bigger time frame. So I was expecting it to hit this point here, this particular point. So upon seeing this um weak rejection here, this doji candle. So I entered as the second candle, just opened dropping so let's see how it plays out so what's up guys i just closed out of the trade um i'm up 50 percent of the accounts remember i entered at this point here so i closed out here um although i'm still expecting the further push to the downside but the aim is to grow the accounts remember it's a small account so i don't want to hold long trades on it okay so the aim is to flip it you see we are up 50 percent of the accounts that is 51 dollars okay so if i should see a new re-entry point i will still hop in into the trade and um if i should st still see a new setup i will still um, hop into the trade okay so the aim is to flip the accounts so we're still growing it so the um the account is now up 50 percent so now why did i say this price will come to retest at this zone here if you look back now this point here this point here you see it was previously um a resistance here it was previously a support here then it changed to resistance resistance turned back to support so that place was a um a vital zone so i said when once price pushed down at first we wanted to sell from here but since price didn't go back to retest here it shut down this was the next zone we were watching out for yes this was the next zone we were watching out for so once price we were waiting for price to hit here then retest once it retests we will, en we will enter the trade so the safest point to enter was when it breaks once it breaks this um, neckline this psychology level here so you see when um the price came to this zone let me go back down to um 15 the five minutes so you see it clearly mm, sorry don't mind my chat this um the particular chart i use for my rough works okay <coughs> okay this is it yeah so
so we were waiting for the price to hit here since the price didn't hit here we were looking this was the next zone we were watching out for so when price um broke down broke this trend line so we were waiting for it to now retest it was here now some people were like oh we should jump into the trade we should jump into the trade so we waited for the price to re retrace so that it would turn this particular zone now to um resistance so this zone now that was once the support now should turn to resistance so when coming down again to break this neckline although i entered earlier because i knew that the price was going to shoot down because this was just a minor retracement which we were actually waiting for so when price broke down at this second candle here this second red candle i entered and we had um little to no um this thing drawdown you can see the drawdown just little okay so actually the account we were trading was hundred dollar and we were risking um was it around 25 dollars or so so we were risking 25 dollars to get um 50 dollars that is one is to two we were risking 25 to get 50 so um this is the position size calculator i use for gold actually my forex book position size calculator so you will come here choose the currency your account currency type the account size was hundred dollars account size is hundred dollars the risk was actually let's swap it to money the risk we were risking 25 dollars the stop loss was how many pips you can see it here 48 pips 48 pips we change this to 0 0.01 then we calculate now this is the loss size we entered I splitted this loss size to five places. I entered 0 0.01 in five places. That is 0 0.05 because it's the maximum loss size in order for us to not lose more than this 25% of the account, which is $25. So, and when once the trade, we waited for the trade to hit this zone too, because this was a vital zone too. This particular area was also vital. Let's look back. Mm. You see, this was once a um, how will I put it? This was once a support, a support zone, also a resistance, resistance change to support, support. So this zone, this zone here, this area here, was very vital. So that's why we put uh, this in. I take profit at that point there. So so our our take profit was actually here at this point, not at the center. So we put it here because markets, the market can even if you look critically down, you see the market didn't even hit the sec the center. It just retraced halfway and went up. So that that was the first trade we took on gold with the little account. So we reached 25 to get 50. So on Tuesday, this was the trade we took on Tuesday. Yeah, this next one here. Yeah. What's up, guys? So we are up again with um other 50 dollars we made 50 dollars again today i entered a, um, a trade on silver you can see here you see this trade on silver so um i didn't hold the trade long because it was a small account and it was playing around and you know how volatile silver is too so i had to close out in losses uh, so you see that's those are the ones here now so and later on the team moved in my direction you can see the results in my previous post in my previous post so i'll um put a screenshot of the trade it's it really shut down like as we were looking for a sell so it's really shut down later on so um now i saw another entry on gold i entered at this point here at this little retracement shooting to the up i entered so we hold all the way down yeah this is where i close that remember it is and um, we are scalping this account because um it's a small account the aim is to flip it so i entered here to this position around this area remember so we hopped out so now we are up plus 50 is it down here so we are up 50 dollars okay yesterday we made um 50 so 50 50 hundred remember it's a hundred dollar account i also this trade was also at this point also so when it fell to break above, uh, so we knew that if it should break this trend line, it will turn this zone here, this blue line here, that was once a support. 
so resistance before shooting down so we also waited for the trade here but this one we entered um how will i put it we entered conservatively we didn't um just jump into the trade aggressively we waited for it to break and when it breaks it went up to retest on coming back we waited again for it to break this neckline so once it it broke this neckline we entered the trade so this one had zero drawdown zero drawdown and why i enter trades like this with zero or little drawdown is because i also trade a proprietary firm account so the aim is to have minimum drawdown yeah and maximum profit so we entered at this point <coughs> also risking 25 dollars to get 50. so yeah the stop loss here was 35 pips and um if you don't know how we managed to calculate pips on gold uh, i made a video on how to calculate pips on gold and also risk management how we managed to um calculate our risks before entering a trade to know how much we to know how much we are going to um gain and how much we are in to lose if the trade should go against us then just click on this icon above to go watch the video okay so um yeah it's the risk here is 35 pips we were risking 35 to get 92 pips so we change this to 35 pips we calculated so this was the loss size we entered 0 0.07 so we split it to 0 0.01 in seven places okay so we reached 25 dollars the same um 25 dollars here 25 percent of the accounts although it's although yeah it was now um 150 yeah i remember it was 150 still the same thing 0 0.07 okay but now the percentage changes to 16 percent so the trade also hit our tp because it also one is to two risk to reward ratio so the trade hit our tp and we close that with 50 dollars too okay so those were the two trade i took on on the small accounts we were trading those were the two trade i took on the small accounts so this was the first one if you look critically well we we don't we don't just jump into a trade we wait for the trade to play out according to the setup according to what we were expecting it to do and at the same time it doesn't mean that um, all our setup also works exactly um, the way we map it out no you can see this trade here on wednesday although i didn't enter this trade on the small account on wednesday you can see this trade here our um we were waiting for this trade here to shoot up uh hit here then make a retracement at this line here before shooting up at this point here so but you see what the market did the market went up and we entered we were waiting for the market to go hit here then retest so when the market opened here we entered um conservatively with um just one trade like let's say um i'm trading this 150 or let's say now it's 200 and we wanted to reach 25 and the stop loss here is um 53 pips yeah let me check it yeah 53 pips 53 pips so you're supposed to use 0 0.05 lots so i entered with 0 0.01 first to test um like it's just like testing um the water with just one leg first so we enter with 0 0.01 so you see what the market did it went against us hits our tip hit us out then bounced at this trend line and did exactly what you were looking for you see it went up again now retest again at this second point here before shooting up you see so at some point we also have losses but we entered conservatively we didn't just jump into the trade so with that we had just minor loss compared to what we um actually risking okay so that's it guys on how i managed to flip um this hundred dollar account to two hundred dollars in two days this was the first trade this was the second trade so we waited for the market to play as we don't just jump into trade we wait for the market to do exactly what we were looking for before entering the trade okay so
that's it guys i'll still keep you guys updated on the accounts growth this is just an episode one so i'll be making an episode two next week too because this week is almost gone so i'll be posting an episode two of me trading this small account also so um see you guys next week so guys if you are new here and you are still yet to um subscribe to my youtube channel just do well to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notification to get updated whenever i drop new forex related video and also the episode two of me flipping these smaller accounts okay i'll be making more more videos on how i flip account on how i trade conservatively on how i um on the strategy i use mainly because uh, i'll also be making a video too on the strategy i use this is just a minor one yeah this is just a minor one see you next time guys see you guys